Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna take a 3D printed blank, mix up some color, fill it up, and see how it looks. This is a very simple process. I've 3D printed a blank using a very inexpensive 3D printer. I'm gonna mix up some liquid diamonds resin, which I've already poured, with some mica, and then I'm gonna fill in all these little cavities with the resin. The reason I'm using liquid diamonds, I got a lot of open time, so I can use little pipettes to squeeze the resin into the little tiny cavities, and I don't have to worry about my time. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and cast it without pressure. I'm not gonna put this in the pressure pot, but these have been coming out pretty good that way. Now, I've already added my A and B. I'm using liquid diamonds, which is a two to one. I've got 20 grams of A with 10 grams of B, and I'm gonna just use about a little, little scoop of the mica, about that much. This is Plum Crazy Purple, Caster's Choice and I'm gonna mix with it bronze. I'm loving this bronze. About the same amount, a little scoop of it. And there again, it's only 30 grams total, so this should be thick enough that the color is solid even though it's just the mica powder. And this bronze gives me a really cool molten color. Now what's cool about the liquid diamonds is, in this case, it's a great feature or a great benefit that it has a long open time. So I have plenty of time to fill the little cavities. I don't have to worry about my resin setting up on me too fast. Now, even though that is the case, I still will wait a little while before I do this. Um, I like to get my temperature up around between 95 and 100 for this. And the reason being is then it's just a little more manageable. It's not gonna soak into the plastic as much. And I just find it works, so. All right, got my temp gun. I'm gonna let these warm up and then we'll get... So I'm gonna begin by pouring three sections of bronze. And these are probably big enough I can do all of them with the cup. The purple will be the main part that I need to use the pipette. And that is it for that. Voila! So that's full, that's all I do to fill the different compartments. It works pretty good. Occasionally, well, more than occasionally, I'll spill over and then I just pour it all over the place and it still looks cool, so you can't really go wrong. But now I just gotta let this one set. If there was only the magic of video editing that I could just have one done, there it is. Already tubed and everything. Let's turn this on the lathe and see how this looks. Here's the finished tube. It's very hard to get this thing to focus on it, but you get the point. It looks pretty cool. You can really do a lot because of the different colors of uh, resin that you put in with the colors of plastic from your 3D printer. So sky's the limit on this. You can tell I spilled a little bit of the purple into the bronze, or maybe you can't, I don't know. <laughs> 
but I did. But it still actually looks pretty neat, so I'm cool with it. Hope this video was somewhat useful. If you have a 3D printer and you're into this, post some pictures or comments. Be sure and follow Turner's Warehouse on Instagram because I'm posting stuff and I just posted a giveaway for a blank today. So if you would have been on there, you could have had a free blank. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Talk to you later.